you know how long it takes for one tree to grow. It depends on the type of tree, of course, but some could take up to 50 years or more to be a seed in the ground to a full grown tree. And some tree farmers don't even get the chance to see the trees that they worked so hard to cultivate. For mission camp this summer, you will get the chance to act as one of those tree farmers. Not that you're gonna wear overalls and dig around in dirt. Well, you might, but let me explain. Whether it's through spending time at nursing homes or work sites or neighborhoods full of kids, you will be a part of building up and nurturing people through their walks with God. However, just like those tree farmers, you may not get the chance to see the fruits of your labor, which can be discouraging, right? You work so hard to see so little result. However, in 1 Corinthians, Paul writes, I planted, Apollos watered, but God gives the growth. So neither the one who plants nor the one who waters is anything, but only God because he gives the growth. The passage then goes on to tell us that we are all God's co-workers, all having received a role to building his kingdom. Our roles may look a little different from one another. Some may be like Paul, who plants the seed by spreading love and affection. Others may be like Apollos, watering the seed by verbalizing the gospel. Neither role is more important than the other. Both are necessary. And we can find encouragement that even though we may not get to see that seed just grow into this full-blown tree, God will bring the growth. This summer, it is so important that you trust God in his plan and in his timing to grow the people up that you'll be working with. Whether you're planting or watering or being used as a hand or mouthpiece, God has given you a specific role. And some of you may not know what that role is yet. So be prepared. Prepare yourself to share the gospel by practicing with your group and using resources provided by your student pastor. Prepare yourself to simply have a good attitude in your work by meditating in prayer and in the word before your trip. Above all else, prepare yourself to glorify Jesus in whatever opportunity that he has given you. And with this mindset, I guarantee you that you'll find joy in whatever role that you're given in this gardening process.